Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 59. In this episode I'm going to show you 25 new features in Google Apps so let's find out what's new. Let's start with Gcam and I'm talking specifically about Gcam version 8.7 which is still exclusive to the Pixel 7 models. I spotted three hidden features that I've never mentioned before and the first one is the ability to lock the focus. So for example if you want to lock the focus on this object you need to tap and hold on it and you will see this new lock icon that means when you change the position of the subject the focus doesn't change automatically or when you change the camera as well also keep in mind that the tap and hold to lock focus in gcam version 8.7 replaces the old one we used to have in previous versions so here i have 8.6 on the 6 pro and when i tap and hold i'm getting google lens instead but as an alternative, when you point the camera towards certain objects, like this receipt for example, you might get a suggestion like scan document in this case, and it might also give you the ability to copy text. Or you can simply access Google Lens from the modes tab like this. The second hidden change is under more settings and then gestures, and now we have the double tap action back again in Gcam version 8.7, which was missing from 8.6 on the Pixel 6 models, like in this case. So here I have it set on the zoom, and that means when you double tap on the viewfinder, it will automatically zoom to 2x, double tap again, it will return to 1x. The third and last hidden change is the ability to activate the locked folder by tapping and holding on the photo preview icon. And instead of having a button at the top right corner like the previous version and now it's time for today's sponsor if you are interested to purchase original windows 10 and office keys head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below then apply my special promo code id20 to get extra 25 percent discount windows 10 oem key will cost you 16.23 dollars which is very affordable to complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method input the details and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Next, the Pixel Watch app. And it got three new changes. The first one is the themed icons support in case you are using Android 12 or later. And when you open the app, you will also notice that we have a Fitbit icon here and it will show you the last synced status. So you can immediately see the last time your Pixel Watch synchronized with your Fitbit account. And when you scroll down a little bit, you will see a separate menu for Fitbit as well. And here, when you go inside, you will see the same information, the last synced. In addition to opening the Fitbit app or unpair your watch from the Fitbit account. And this will take us to the Google Play Store as it got a new change related to the Pixel Watch. So as an example, when I search for sports, you will see here a suggestion for the watch. And when I tap on this suggestion, I'm getting only the apps that can work with my Pixel Watch in the search results. Next, YouTube Music. And the first change is in the now playing screen. Now the cast button is located at the top right corner of the page, but previously it used to appear after tapping on the album art, which was hidden, but now it's more obvious. And the second change is under settings. Now you will see all the options are categorized. We have here general, playback, data saving, and so on. And instead of having all the options stacked on top of each other, so now it makes a lot more sense. And finally, the summer 2022 recap is here and you can access it by tapping on your profile picture and then choose your recap. Here you will see the playlist by tapping on the thumbnail. It will show you all the songs or you can tap on the play button right here. And when you scroll down a little bit, you will see some images created for you that you can share with others. It includes the top artists, top playlists, top songs, and so on. You can save the image by tapping on the download button or share it right away from YouTube music like this. And when you scroll down even further, you will see the top playlists you listen to. Next, Google Messages. And now when you tap and hold on any message to react, 
you will see this new plus button. Tapping on it will show you the full list of emojis where you can search or choose one from here. And that will give you more options instead of being limited to the suggested ones. And the second change is the new sound you will hear when you send the message if your phone is set to the ringing profile. So let me show you this. Next, Google search. And because of the World Cup, Google added some nice hidden features. When you search for World Cup 2022, you will see this new animated icon at the bottom right corner. Tapping on it will launch a new game called Mini Cup. Here you can choose the competitors and start playing the game. And you can also check the results of others that played the same matches and also check the top teams. So when you go to play and then choose the competitors, it will load the game and then it will ask you to choose your team. So I'm gonna choose Tunisia and you will see a ball over here so you can start getting your goals and when you miss one of the shots it will end the game showing the result and you can play again if you want. The second feature is the ability to pin the live scores but because there is no live matches the button doesn't appear but normally it shows under the teams over here. And when you tap on this button, if you are using an Android phone, you will get a bubble that you can place anywhere on the screen and it will show you the live scores and the time. Next, Gmail. And it only got one change. When you open any of the messages, you will notice that the bar at the bottom doesn't disappear like before. But once you start scrolling, it will hide itself. And when you scroll back up, it will reappear one more time. And this will give you the same quick shortcuts inside the message in addition to the number of the unread emails. Next, Gboard. And the first change is under settings and as you see everything now supports material you with the same toggles you would expect and under preferences when you scroll all the way down you will see a new option here called flick input sensitivity which will adjust that sensitivity level for the sliding input and here you have the option to choose between low, normal and high. Now let's talk about Google Chrome. And now when you sign in to any website with a password different from the one already saved in your Google account, you will get a pop-up on the screen like this one saying update password. And this is a new design different from the old one. And when you tap on continue, it will show you this confirmation window. Here you can choose the username you want to update the password for. For example, if you have multiple usernames for the same website, you will see a drop down arrow here and in my case I have two so you're gonna choose the username to, you want to update the password for by tapping on the update button and that will make it much more flexible compared to the previous version. Next, Google app and now in the discover feed you will see this new weather banner that will show you more information about the weather compared to the previous design and when you tap on it it will show you even more from Google search. You can use this area to also get updates about your favorite sports teams and also the stocks, but unfortunately the feature doesn't work yet. I tried to activate the notifications for some teams in the World Cup and also I tried to activate the notifications for the stocks, but none of them showed up yet in my Discover feed. So let me know in the comments if you managed to activate this feature. Now let me show you some minor tweaks across different apps and the first one is Files by Google. If you take a look here side by side with the previous version on the right, you will see the Share tab is now called Nearby Share with the same Nearby Share icon. Other than this, they work exactly the same. Next, we have the Google Wallet app and when you scroll down in the home page, you will see a new link called Wallet Tips. When you tap on it, it will show you different categories and when you tap on any, it will take you to Google's support pages so you can learn more about how to use the app. And when it comes to the Google productivity apps like Docs, Sheets and the Slides, all of them now support Material U toggles. So when you open any of the documents and then tap on more, you will see all the toggles are now much bigger and when you activate the toggle, this is how it looks. Now let's end this by showing you a couple of new exclusive pixel features and the first one, when you copy text or photos, you will see a new icon here in the clipboard pop-up that looks like a device and when you tap on it, it will automatically show you the devices that are signed in with the same Google account to quickly share the clipboard and once you tap on it, it will be shared without the need to unlock the other device like before. And the second one, when you activate battery share, you will see on your lock screen that the feature is activated, which is new to Pixel phones. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you in Google Apps. 
please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature to include in my future videos but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video